Hi, this video is about the Caribou Mathematics Contest. I'm going to show the solution for the November 2015 Grade 7A Contest Question 21, which also came up in the Grade 9 10 Contest, and a similar question of this question being in the Grade 11 12 Contest. Alright, so the question is, which of the following options proves the formula for the area A of triangle ABC? Okay, so here, this triangle ABC is the triangle which we want the area for. Now, if we look at this triangle, we can see that its area is just the sum of this purple triangle plus this yellow triangle. Okay, now let's look at this purple triangle here. Now, we can see that this purple triangle, this area, must be half of this whole rectangle's area because here this diagonal line just goes from the one corner to the opposite corner, which means that this area must be the exact same as this, and therefore we can express this purple triangle's area as a half of this rectangle's area, and this rectangle has the side lengths P and H. So one over half of P times H. So we have the area is equal to one over two times P times H. Okay. And now, like, likewise with this yellow triangle's area, it is just the half of this full this rectangle area, which is Q multiplied by H. So it would be half of Q times H, since again, this diagonal goes from one corner to the opposite corner. So we have this plus one over two times the Q multiplied by H. Okay, so here they have the area as a sum. Now, what the distributive law is, is where, that the distributive law is where you can write the sum as a product as long as all terms in that sum have at least one common factor. So in this sum, here we have two terms that we have to look at, which is a half of pH and we have a half of QH. So now let's look at their common factors. Well, of course, both have one over two, and they also both have H as a factor. So we will write that. We will have 1 over 2 times H. Okay. And now, if we would divide this term by 1 over 2 H, all we would have left would be P. And here, if we were to divide that by 1 over 2 H, we would just have Q left. So we would have P plus Q. So this multiplied by P plus Q. And as we can see, this is now a product. Okay, and now here we have 1 over 2 H times P plus Q. Well, if we look at this diagram here, we have P and we have Q. And if we added P plus Q, well, if we look below, that would just give us this, which we already know is C. And that is just the bottom length. So, we can rewrite this as 1 over 2H and then multiplied by C. Okay, and now this is known as the formula of a triangle, which would be 1 over 2, formula for the area of a triangle, which would be 1 over 2 times 1 of the side lengths multiplied by its corresponding height, where here the side length is C, and the corresponding height would be H. Okay, so the area is equal to 1 over 2 times H times C. Now, if we were to look at all these options, we can see that option F must be correct because we have A is equal to half times pH, which we have here, half pH, and then we have plus 1 over 2 QH, which we have here, plus 1 over 2 QH, 
and that is equal to, well, what we did with the distributive law is a half times half h, and then multiplied by p plus q, as we have shown here. And then finally, we have equals 1 over 2 hc, and here we have, at the end, hc over 2, which is the same thing as 1 over 2 hc. So therefore, we know the correct option must be f. If you'd like to know more about this contest, please feel free to visit our website at caribotest.com.